Talking about watches, a few watches in the world can be considered true legends, true pioneers of the watch world of innovation and masculinity and history and innovation and all of that revolution and all of that, all of those great things that really makes a great watch. But a lot of watches in the world cannot be considered legends in my opinion. We have a lot of beautiful, great watches, but they all really just look back at other watches that really were the first on the market, which really made the way for other watches to really start to get produced. And we have thousands and thousands of watches, but only a few dozens can really be considered legendary watches. One of the true legends is the Rolex Submariner No Date. So in this, in this video series, I'm looking at four different watches from my collection, which I consider true legends and which are watches I will never ever part with because I think I really just love to have these legendary watches in my personal collection. So a lot of other different legendary watches can be found, but in my personal collection, I have these four so far. I would really love to add some more legendary watches, maybe a Speedmaster, maybe an El Primero, maybe a Daytona and other uh, legendary watches. But for this video, it's my Rolex Submariner No Date. And this is the this particular version is not in production anymore, of course, because it comes with an, an aluminium bezel insert, which it, they don't really produce that much anymore. But the reason why this watch isn't produced anymore is because of the movement. So this is the 14060. And this watch was produced from, I believe, 1990 90 to 2002. And then they stopped producing this watch because they upgraded it to the 14060M. And the 14060M came with an upgraded movement and some more uh, upgrades to the watch. And of course, as you know, with the Rolex of Mana, they really don't do any revolutions. They do these small iterations, these small betterments of the watch. So I really opted to go for the Rolex of Mana no date because I think this is what is really true to the true history of the Rolex of Mana. No Hulk, no green bezel insert like the Kermit, no stuff like that, no gold, just a true tool watch. I do love all the other versions, don't get me wrong. I would love to add a two-tone Submariner or maybe a Hulk at some point, but I really, really just wanted to have this super legendary simple watch. So I have five reasons of personal reasons of why I really, really love this particular watch, the Rolex Submariner No Date and the Rolex Submariner in all. So it's of course, like I just said, because of the history. So this watch was introduced at the first time in 1953, and it was a true revolution in the watch world, a super uh, hardcore, very, very strong, indestructible dive watch, which was uh, water resistant down to uh, much uh, deeper depths that we have seen before that. And it was also a watch that in its whole design was just a very, very rev revolutionary watch back then. So introduced in 1953. And it hasn't really been uh, get, given a, a new reference or a lot of new versions of this watch uh, all the way up to 2010. So pretty crazy that this watch is essentially the same watch which in many aspects, which was introduced in 1953, uh, down to even down to the lock holes, as you see here, because you have drilled lock holes, so it's much easier to change the, the bracelet here. So my number one reason of loving the Rolex of Mariner, no date, the Rolex of Mariner is of course because of the history. So my second reason, I think this is an absolute, the most essential and the most legendary tool watch. It is almost indestructible. It's almost would it almost would be able to survive survive a nuclear war. I'm of course just joking a bit, but it is such a, a tough tool watch. It's a no fuss tool watch, even though it's a luxury luxury watch and it's a watch that costs thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and it's very expensive uh, expensive and it's of course also considered a a luxury watch today and something that is not uh, a watch that will ever be able to be possessed by a lot of people because they simply can't afford it. It is essentially a tough, tough tool watch, the Rolex 
Submariner. And that is my second reason of why I love it. It does what it does. It does what it's supposed to do. It tells the time very, very accurately. It's a no fuss watch. It's super, super high quality and you can't almost destroy this watch. It does what it's supposed to do and it does it, does it perfectly. So my third reason, I think this is an extremely versatile watch. So I think that the Rolex of Manor is essentially as much a dive watch, a tool watch today as it is a dress watch today. So in many circles, it would be considered wrong to actually wear a dive watch as a dress watch, but you see it everywhere. So I'm personally in business and when I go to meetings and I go to conferences and stuff like that, I see a lot of businessmen in the most expensive, beautiful suits. They actually just wear a Rolex Submariner. So this is a super versatile watch. It's probably one of the most versatile watches ever made, in my opinion, because it goes with everything. It's, it's considered as a tool watch, it's considered as an everyday watch, it's considered as a dress watch. You can use this watch in at any occasion. Okay, so my reason number four, which is really also just looking back to my reason number one and my reason number two, the design. This is a true design monster. This is a legendary design and it's a lot of people have tried to copy it, to copy the design, but they have never really reached the same high standards as the Rolex. This will always be the original, no matter how a lot of other watch companies, especially micro brands are just trying to do their own versions of the Rolex Submariner. This was first. So this is a true, unique, legendary design which can never be copied. It can only be imitated, never, never copied. And that is why I really, really love this watch as well. So that's my fourth reason here. It is on my wrist, which is a 7.1 inch wrist size, 17 and a half centimeters. It can only be imitated, never, never copied. So this particular version is before the COSC certification, which came in the 14 series 60 M version, which came after this, but this is accurate to two seconds a day plus. This is just amazing thinking about this watch being a watch that was produced in 2001. So it's just about 16 to 17 years old. I don't believe it ever was serv serviced. And that's just absolutely amazing that a watch of, of that age can actually still be as accurate. So in the newer versions, you get uh, one of the most important upgrades, in my opinion, is actually the bracelet. This isn't the, the best bracelet, but this bracelet will beat many other bracelets in the market, in my opinion. An absolute legendary bracelet, in my opinion. So, of course, my reason number four, the sign, it will never die. This will never, never die. This will be one of the biggest legends of the uh, horological world ever. And also, combined with the whole design thing, I also think that it's a, a it's a it's a statement piece in the way that you that that you know you bought a, an expensive watch, but it also holds its value. So I think the Rolex of Manor is a true legend because it's actually one of the few watches actually holding its value. And even though this watch is everywhere, you see it everywhere it still holds its value, which is completely amazing. They have produced millions and millions of Submariners Rolex, but still it holds, it holds its value. And it's actually also gains value. So I'm not going to part with this watch, but I could maybe sell it in five years time and I would probably have made a thousand dollars. So it's absolutely amazing the design and how it actually holds its value. So my fifth and last reason, I think the most important reason probably, in my opinion, is that this is a companion for life. If you buy a Rolex of Manor and you have, has, you, you keep an eye on it and you, you don't really beat it up too much and you, you, and you have it serviced like every five or 10 years, you will have a companion for life. You will have a watch that would last you a lifetime. You can't say that about a lot of other watches a watch that would last you a lifetime. And that's, that also means that this watch is actually a watch you can pass on to your children or your grandchildren when you find it fit, befitting. So this is a watch, a companion for life. I hope you enjoyed this video of why I really think that the Rolex of Manor is a legend and why I added this particular version, the no date sub, two liner text to my collection. 
that was my five reasons of why I really love this watch and why this is one of the watches I wear the most from my collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment down below. Why do you consider Rolex of Manor a legendary watch? Which other watches do you think are true legends, especially dive watches? I would like to hear which dive watches you think are true legends. Also remember to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And also remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.